Hello friends, welcome again to Codex and my name is Gaurav. The problem that we are going to discuss today is minimax sum. So let's quickly jump to the problem description. What it says. So it's saying given 5 positive integers, find the minimum and maximum values that can be calculated by summing exactly 4 of the 5 integers. Then print the respective minimum and maximum values as a single line of two space separated long integers. And taking this example for the explanation part, let's jump to the whiteboard. So here if we see the elements in this array are kind of sorted. And if you see the first element is the minimum. The last element is maximum so in case of sorted array this problem is kind of easy but in problem statement anywhere it's not not at all written that elements in the array will be sorted first we will try to find the maximum sum if we add these last four elements we will get the maximum sum and if we add the first four elements we will get the minimum sum so in case of sorted array this is pretty easy let's look it from other way so first of all let's try to write what will be the sum of all these five elements so if let's assume i am taking a for now not instead of ARR so A0 plus A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 will give me the total sum total sum of all the elements right and when we are saying to get the minimum sum we are adding these four right what we are doing this goes to here so we will get these four total sum minus a fourth element we will get the minimum sum similarly if we do total sum minus a0 you will get the maximum sum of all the maximum sum basically so from this we have derived that maximum sum will be equals to total sum minus a0 and minimum sum will be equals to total sum minus a4 but this formula will only be helpful when the array is sorted or let's say if array is unsorted and you will do a, you will perform a sorting on all those elements then you can use this formula but if you do if you perform the sorting on those elements the time complexity of it will be big of n log n because sorting's efficiency is time complexity is n log n so that's why our solution will not be efficient but friends this a0 isn't it the minimum value and a4 isn't the maximum value so yes if we get to know the minimum and maximum value in any in any unsorted array then we can find the total sum and we can subtract the minimum value to get the maximum sum and we can get the maximum value and subtract it from the total sum to get the minimum value so now this problem becomes kind of distributed into two sub problems and the first problem is to get the total sum which is similar to the simple array sum which which we have already covered you can check in the i link i have given and the second sub problem is to find the minimum and maximum number from the unsorted 
array so the time complexity for this approach will be big of n why because in this part we are traversing the array only once so that's why our time complexity will be big of n let's quickly move to the solution part of it so here one more condition is there if you look into the constants it is saying each element of error can be less than n equals to 10 raised to the power 9 so output can be greater than 32 bit integer so that's why we will take the 64 bit integer which is long you can see this code here have copied it from simple array sum code but instead of taking the data type as int I am taking it as long now the second part is to find the min and max element from it so what we will do we will take one int min and assign the first element of array to it and do a max and for it also we will do we will assign the first element of array and then just trade the array from 1 to error dot length if element is less than minimum value then minimum will be error of i similarly for max will do here friends we got the min and max and the total sum so we'll just do a so yeah let's try to run this code yeah so it got passed try to submit this code yeah so you can see all test case got passed but here you can see we are iterating the array two times instead of it can we just remove it from here and paste it here and just remove this all loop from here and now try to sub run the code yeah sorry i did one mistake if we do this we have to assign error of 0 to sum also then it will run fine yeah now try to submit the code yes so friends what i did is just remove the unnecessary for loop for just doing the for just getting the total sum we can do it inside this loop only friends you might be thinking why i have initialized min and max to error of zero let's try to understand it using one example so let's say error is having 7 4 22 and 9 as the elements and initially our min initially our min will be 7 and similarly our max will be 7 so now in first iteration if we see our error of i which is 1 sorry which is 4 so is 4 less than 7 so it is true so our max will be updated from 7 sorry our min will be updated from 7 to 4 now it will again check if 4 is greater than 7 which is false so it will not go to here now in the second iteration we have 22 so is 22 less than minimum which is now 4 so is it true no it's not true so it will not go to here it will not do the assignment it will go to here and it will see 
if error of i which is 22 is it greater than our max which which already 7 so yes it is so now our max will be 22 similarly for 9 it will first check if it is less than min so no it is greater than our min and it will also check if 9 is greater than x value which is 22 so no that is also not correct so it will do nothing and in the next iteration i will be equals to the length which is 5 sorry 4 so it will come out sorry it will be 5 so it will come out so we will get the min and max as 4 and 22 so that's why we have initialized it to first element because initially we will not be having anything apart from the first element so that's it friends for today i will be providing uh, the problem and solution link into the description also if you like this video and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends